What it is, world man, Mr. Afternoons right now, E.T. Cali inside of the galaxy. You guys are just now tuning in. Before she says anything, I want you guys to understand that this lady comes with a level of intelligence you guys are probably not familiar with, okay? Yes, she sings and does music, but she has a degree. Oh, God, forgive me. Mm. And something scientific. Miss Cap, Miss Cap, I did not have a you degree. Don't ha you don't have a degree. You almost got a degree. I dropped out. You dropped out? Mm -hmm. what, did, what did you almost have a degree in? In biology. Biology, that's what it was. I couldn't remember which one it was. Yes. Okay, now, is there, like, what what form of biology though? Is it like just standard biology? Standard biology. Mm -hmm. Okay. What school were you go, were you going to? St. John's in New York. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, why are you in the ATL? I'm from here. Really? Yes. What part? I did not know that. I'm from the East Side. Like, are you you an East Side girl? Mm -hmm. I love the East Side girls. Oh Lord, I bet you do. Yeah, I sure do. Them things, they the funnest. <laughs> Some good people from over there. Yes, there is. Damn it. Um, okay, so let's just get into the whole music perspective of this. Um, obviously, you had a different idea of what you wanted to do early in your career, right? Mm -hmm. From a schooling perspective. Mm -hmm. The transition to music, what led you to that? I just made a song for somebody, and then my friends were like, that's a nice song. I made some more, and they told me to put it out, so I did. And that just took off? Pretty much. And your musical influences, like, were they always in the R&B or singing world? I wouldn't say R&B, but just singing world, or did they have the hip-hop influences as well? Mm, I feel like there's definitely some hip-hop influences, but, like, singing-wise, I feel like maybe, like, a Faith Evans, Monica vibe. Yeah, in that, in that, in that realm. Anybody outside of the genre of R&B, though? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know if I would, I, I, I don't think I would call Lauren Hill R&B. I don't think she's R&B. I feel like, um... Pink Floyd is not R and B. No, my mom, my mom had me on Pink Floyd when I was a kid too. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. Crazy yeah, stuff, man. Just music like that. My mom's a classically trained opera singer, so my wow. mom she played everything in the house. So Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, Sade, Whitney Houston, like it was just like a plethora of Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. everything of course. You know, we was out there working, baby. You had an array. I had an array of everything. Mm -hmm. What, is, what school did you go to on the east side of the ATL? I went to Southwest DeKalb High School. Southwest, you did? Mm -hmm. I, I did not, not know any of this, bro. I was on a dance team. Somebody didn't found some footage of that. It's like... They put it out? They put it out. Were you, were you was a majorette? <laughs> say it again. I was. I was. You said it like you didn't want it and say it. It's okay, girl. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was what it was. Yeah. So now, uh, now that you've been around the world, have you? What's the biggest surprise for you now that you've been performing? Um, like when you go to these countries, like you've been outside the country, I'm sure, right? You know, maybe the biggest surprise being out of the country is that um, people who speak no English will know your entire song. Yes, mm -hmm. and then try to talk. I, you know, what's so funny? I've, I've, when I was coming up, I used to um, listen to like or watch old videos and artists used to say back in the day like they'd go to other countries and they'd sing your song word for word yeah, and then when crazy. they kind of talked to them they didn't know any english they just knew your song word yeah, for word it's crazy that's a level of fan that, that's probably pretty it's just like music can just you know do that it really can i feel like it's some songs that are not in english that i feel like i'd be trying to sing uh -huh. for sure yeah mm -hmm. are you still excited about this industry because it gets kind of weird once you start making <laughs> fame and money i don't think i was ever excited about this industry really I can kind of, like, your energy kind of says, like, I'm just, listen, bro, I'm happy to be making some money. People like my stuff. I'm here. It's cool. Yeah, I'm happy. That's a blessing for sure, you know, that you can, like, look out for your family based on just, like, making something from scratch. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. The industry kind of, like, turns it into a different. Are you, you you give me private vibes. Like, you're very, like, I like my privacy. I like my. Yeah, but I feel like when you like that, it. it makes people feel like they have like a limited perception or like access to you so you have to put yourself out there so that they are a little more familiar i don't think there's nothing wrong with that though i think it just depends on who you're talking to yeah i mean i feel like it depends on a lot of things but i do agree with that yeah mm -hmm. where did you get this um perspective of relationship of loyalty i heard you say you know with you and your relationship the mm -hmm. this this you don't have this i'm a runaway attitude yeah no not really yeah, where did I've never you... really been like that, though. I think maybe it's like a childhood trauma thing. Like, my parents are not together. They got a divorce. Uh-huh. And, and you're I like, I'm just not like, doing that. that. No, I don't want that. I and want I don't that. think, you know what's so funny is you, a, a lot of the times when people have their childhood issues, 
You hear the opposite. Mm -hmm. You hear them say, well, I did it because my childhood. What you're saying is I learned from my childhood not to do that. Yeah, I'm trying to mate for life. Yeah. Like an animal. Like a smart person. Some animals mate for life, and I'm on that. Yeah, a lot of birds. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Penguins. Penguins. Mm -hmm. There's like, uh, 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 you know, I guess, what what kind of other animals mate for life? Eagles? Um, There's some other ones. I would have to Google it. deep dive, but I know there are some, and I feel like I am. What do you think would make you excited about this industry? I don't I don't Maybe get Maybe if the, it was more fair. How is it not excited. fair? Explain to me. Like what is what's the what's the part that's not fair for you? Um it's 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 really political. Oh duh. So I think if it were more fair, like just openly, honestly fair, I feel like it would be exciting. What does fair look like to you though? Explain explain your definition of what you think fair would look like in the music industry. Like first tell me why you think it's not fair. And then what does fair look like to Mariah? It's not exciting to compete when it's already rigged. Woo! You know? Yeah. So it's like, if it wasn't like that, and it was just based on, like, pure and tangible, like... Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, just, let's, just, let's just put our music up against each other and see what happens. And not even just, like, that it should be competitive like that, but it's like, <clears throat> if it was just based on everybody having this platform to just express themselves, mm-hmm. it's like, you took it for that and not for... You know, whatever they like, pick through it, pick out of it. Yeah, I feel like it might be more fulfilling. You know what I've had to uh, help artists out with because I've been at this for so long is that a lot of artists think that people are into their um, music, mm-hmm. and that's not why they're into you. Mm-hmm. They're into you. They they like you for your music, but they're right. into you because they're you're relatable to them in some way. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, that only comes through like interviews or maybe you had something going on in your life privately that came to the public light. It, public eye, and then you made a song about it. Mm-hmm. So people want to hear you talk so they can find a way to connect with you to become a fan yeah. versus just liking you for the music. And that's I probably like the lyrics. The... I, feel like, I feel like the lyrics make that connection for me personally because I haven't done so many interviews. You yeah. Know? But um, I think it's nice to be able to, I do like to talk. I like human interaction. You know, it's not that I don't. I think it's just with it's the selective. internet, it, it gets, um, Especially like a, a Twitter, right? I deleted my Twitter because I feel like a lot of things can get misconstrued via social know, media, texts, or like you yeah. know. And I just feel like um, this go round, I was telling the people I do business with now that I feel like it would be more appropriate if I did like some more interviews so that I can, you know, just like have your personality and your words come out. It's the same thing. I had a conversation. I've actually had a couple of conversations with people. Um, just, you know, I, I don't know how long you've heard me on the air in Atlanta. A long time. Okay. So, like, you know, I've had actually arguments with artists before mm-hmm. who have tried to tell me to not say certain things to them. And I'm like, listen, you don't get to tell Which me on my like, platform don't ask, don't like what to say. Things. Yeah, mm-hmm. to ask or not ask. Because the thing about it is if it comes from my mouth, it's just me talking ish. Mm-hmm. But if it comes from you, it matters because when I ask you those questions, if it comes from the horse's mouth versus the horse's ass, yeah, <laughs> I don't have no problem saying that. Mm-hmm. Then it's a problem. But if it comes from you, then that's that's the that's what the people are looking for. They don't want to hear the rumors from me because it just sounds yeah, like rumors. I feel like it's good to um, I don't know. I feel like it's good to put yourself in a predicament where you can be asked things that maybe people are are already wondering about. You yeah, because. I don't know. I feel like that's the platform to like get it out, you know, and say it in your way that you want to be heard. And I feel like that's important to do, you know, and I feel like it's important to encourage people to do that. You know, and sometimes obviously some people can be messy and like, you know, try to like incite something negative. But I feel like maybe it's that's your place to present your character. You know what I'm saying? But and get your information out there. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. When you. Got into this <laughs> relationship. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't scared. When you got into this relationship uh, with Thug, um, what was your first like thought about it? Were you like, "Oh, that's Thug. Let me, I can't wait to meet him." Were you just like, "Oh, let me just figure out this"? Like, how did how did this even happen? I thought he wanted to work. <clears throat> he like messaged me about who I was signed to, and I always say maybe it was a oh, that's a, always a, a good naive one. like you know. But I thought maybe he was asking because he was interested in working or something, right? So, and then eventually, he also isn't, like, a pushy guy. So he wasn't going to be, like, hey, like, you know, he wasn't like that. He wasn't pushy. No, he wasn't like that. So eventually I had did a song that I wanted him to get on, and then I was telling him, like, hey, I want to do a song. He was like, well, when you get back to Atlanta, pull up on me. 
And then so. it, and then it, and then I pulled up. <laughs> And then I pulled up. So, I, I mean, pulled up. I pulled up. It pulled out. It was going down. Yeah, it was. It was what but it I was. I think he was just um, he was like nice. He has like a strong dominant presence, but he's yeah. also not like um aggressive. Doing too much. No, he's not like that. And so I think um, he was just like so so tall and like it was just like not that I was like nervous. I don't be getting nervous, but like he was nervous. And I don't want to say intimidated you either. You was nervous. Stop it. I don't know. Maybe I was just like. <laughs> Trying not to like him. You was trying not to like him. He was like, damn, I don't want to like him, but I like, like him. like, you don't want to like... Because, like, my friends would tell me, like, if I think if I think that somebody likes me, I'll, I'll say on the side... I can't curse on this. I can't curse on this? Yeah, go ahead. I'll say, I'll say on the side, like, I think they trying to fuck me. Like, I'll yeah, say yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like, if I feel like somebody might be like that, uh-huh. I'll, like avoid doing any type of interaction that could make them want to do that. Yeah. So. He wasn't giving you that vibe. He was just like. At first he was just on the opposite side of the room. This is like first like face to face. Yeah. And then eventually he came over there and was like, I know you want a song for me, but I want you. Oh, so he was direct. He was very direct. But he, but he gave it some time to approach though. He wasn't like out the gate aggressive. Yeah, it was like probably like, 45 minutes to an hour had gone by in the mm. same room with, like, limited interaction. Really? Mm-hmm. So he was like, let me think about how but I need like to approach it. the directness. The directness was... That's uh, what gets... That's what... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be direct with that's me. What, yeah. Don't hit around. Don't don't beat around the bush. I don't bush. think women like indecisive or confused men. It's At actually all, an right? extreme turn off. Really? Yes. Is that always been the problem with your dating previous to this? I have no exes, so... I have no oh, get the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> she just denounced all y'all Negroes before, th- like none of y'all exist. I think that, in all honesty, if a guy or girl, mm-hmm. if they cannot make it clear what they want from you, that means they don't know what they want, or they do, but they're just too scared to tell you. So it's like either you confused or you're just like, uh huh, and that's it. Yeah, so it's like. I don't like that kind of stuff. You know, you've got this look of, uh, I guess, the people judge you based on the way you look. Yeah. And then they forget you from the east side. Yeah, that's you, true. That you, got a, you got the east side attitude. Like, don't play with me, bro. Yeah. I mean, it'd be like that. You're supposed to be like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm still, like, soft and passive sometimes. But, like, for the most part, I can be very direct and assertive. Right. Mm-hmm. So now now that you've got the music going on and you've you've obviously traveled the world... Where do you see yourself going next? Is it going to be movies? Any acting going on? I think I would. I can be a little shy, though, so I feel like I might have to ease into that. Mm. I feel like it would have to be, like, a really fitting role, but I would. You know, you give me the energy that you read the room or you read a situation before you say anything. Like, that's what you give to me. Like, you're like, let me just feel this out real quick. I feel like most Scorpio people in in the entire world... That's my mother. ...are very, like... They can be discerning and intuitive, but they're, like, really strategic, though. Yeah. Calculated. Because you guys are killers. I mean, (laughs) you know, don't push me. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But don't don't, don't very calculated. I feel like it's a lot of Scorpios like that. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, my mom's mom's a Scorpio. I'm very, like, you know, observant, and she's all with the whole energy and the Mm -hmm. whole da-da-da-da-da. What's your sign? Mine? I'm an Aries, so I'm a warrior sign. I'm ready to fight. Nice fire sign. Yeah, like yeah. You know, my mother's a Scorpio, but we, 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 we have the best relationship. Yeah, see, that's good. Yeah, me and my mom have a great relationship in that way, though. But I like, but like you said, I like her directness, and then she's also very strategic. She watches the room. Yeah. And, you know, I do that as well, you know. Maybe she's taught you some of her ways. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know where that comes from, but I I do, I do, I'm very much about uh, observing the people. That's why I got away. That's why I've been successful, but when I, what I do for so long, I don't look at numbers. I watch people. Yeah, that's good, though. That's a good way to perceive things. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's next now? So now we, you, you don't know about the acting part, but, like, what's coming up I next? I would do that. But um, I want to tour again. Okay. And I think I'm just living. You know, I might make me some more music, of course. Yeah. And then um, just, like, some other business endeavors and just, like, establishing my domestic life. When I say domestic life, people be like, domestic. It's like, no, because they, they domestic don't have a brainstem. 
you know. They they can't think outside of what society told them domestic means. Right. So, like, my domestic life and then, like, other businesses. Yeah. My music. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So, music is like a hobby. It's a career. <laughs> you fell into a career. I fell into it, yeah. But, I mean, honestly, it's treated me well. And, I mean, you have, like, you know, some giving and take with it. Yeah. I feel like it's treated me well. It's allowed me to do a lot of things that I wanted to do. That I probably wouldn't have been able to do for much longer if I like stayed in school. Yeah. So I feel like it's a blessing. Any more tattoos you want to get? I do actually. I'm about to go get my whole. I, I have my back. I piece. see that you have a lot. Well, of my tattoos. whole body's covered in tattoos. I grew, I grew up in L.A., yeah. so like, I'm all loaded. But like the, um, I'm getting a back piece done from uh, Ink by Cali. Yeah. Oh, I've been to him. Yeah. 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 I've, yeah. I've been to him. No, did he do this? Ink by Cali. He was just he up here yesterday. Do this. He did this. He did those. Yeah, he did this right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. What you were saying. Did you know that already? No, nah, that's my homeboy. I he know. Did I, this. You know, he used to be an artist. He used to be I, an artist back I in the day. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. he used to be an artist. Yeah. I didn't. I was very. I heard that a yeah. few times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. That's crazy that you said that. He definitely did this. I'll show you my back piece when I uh, when we get done with doing all this this gossip stuff. But no, I do want some more tattoos. I literally have been saying that for the past few months yeah but like i don't know what to get right it's like i think about it i don't want to just like go for a magazine piece i tell i tell uh tell people when you go get a tattoo get something that's going to be like uh worthy to be in a magazine no you like the little subtle ones no 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 i want it to go big that's what i'm saying but i just don't like my whole back is covered but it's, it's like they're redoing. I have a, a Tibetan skull on my back with a lotus flower and bats and everything else. Well, that sounds fire. <laughs> the, the, I thought about, um, so there's this, like, it's like this picture, like an old picture of, like, these um, cherubs. And it's, like, it's um, Cupid. And then it's, like, the girl he was with. You know, and they're, like, babies, though. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? No. I'm going to show you. Are you going to show it to me? Right now? <laughs> yeah, right now. And, I thought and you just got your nails done? You just got them no, done. No, I did not. They're old. They can't tell from here. Oh, yes. the thumb. Okay, I can see the Don't thumb. Don't look now. The thumb needs to feel oh a little bit. Oh, my God. Why would you do me like that? Why would you do that? A little bit of a feel. Cupid just a little bit. The Psy- truth is. Is her name Psyche? Or who? Psyche? You going to show it? Let me see. You've seen this before. Mm, Wait. You've seen this before, kind of. Oh, yeah, 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 but yeah. But yeah. I wanted them both to be, like, black. Okay. Like, I like the afro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just, like, more fitting for me. And I thought about getting that, but I feel like, I don't know. You don't know? No. We can go. We can go. We can go together. I call Callie up. We go together. Yeah, man. Honestly, that's crazy that you said that. You know I've what known he's getting him for a long time. You know what he's getting ready to do? What? Is, uh, he's getting ready to do what they do in L.A. Where, they, where he's you gonna just ha- go get a session for, like, hours and then. Well, they put you to sleep. Yeah. Okay. And that way you don't feel the pain and you wake up. Tiger just got his that what? way. Uh, little Uzi Vert got his that way, and he's gonna build one out here the same way where you can go there. They're gonna have a, a nurse on 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 staff, That's crazy. him and two or three other artists, and then that way, if you want like a piece done, they put you to sleep. You wake up and it's done, and they that way to, you ain't gotta like I would go to feel the pain for some for some piercings. Really, where are you pierced at now? Nowhere special. I mean, I got <laughs> I got my ears pierced and I got this. I got a belly ring. Oh, I thought you were gonna I've say the love some, box was pierced. I, I was like, dang, no, nah, I've had some other piercings. In the previous years, but it's like the piercing thing. Honestly, I'm a I'm gonna be honest. Like it's, just, it, it's not it's not that's not for you. Are you like, are you you are Scorpio? So you are an inside freak a little bit. I mean, allegedly. Allegedly, that's what they say. Come on, thug. Well, who's they? Because you don't have no boyfriend before thug. That's what they say about Scorpio. Oh, 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 oh in general, not not Mariah. The breed of Scorpio. That's what oh, they say. Not you though, personally. Maybe maybe not. Oh my god. Anyway, you guys, listen, any last words you want to tell the people before you get up out of here? I know you got other things to do. I will say. I'm really going to call Callie, though, so we can go get tatted together. I will. I will say for the love of science and all things science, you should go listen to my project. That's it? I think that you will love it. I think that you're going to listen with your ears and not anything else. As opposed to your eyeballs? As opposed to anything. (laughs) Just only make your opinion based on what you're hearing. Right, and have a good time with that. Yes. Yes. And don't judge you based off what you hear unless it comes from you. Right, exactly. For yeah. sure, I stamp that. There it is. See, you know what I'm saying? You guys, keep it right here. E.T. says, man, Mariah the scientist. <laughs> E.T. Cowley, the truth is we're going to get tatted together. Sorry, thug. Just playing.